Hello and welcome to a Tabletop Bellhop Cardboard Coat Check. I am Mo Tuzano, the Tabletop Bellhop, your cardboard concierge, working with you to make your game nights better. Today, what I am about to do is crack open a brand new game that we brought back from Origins 2023 in Columbus, Ohio. This is a copy of Psycho Babble. This is a social deduction game for people who don't like social deduction games because you have to lie to your friends or deceive people. There is none of that in this game. Now, I did a demo of this game, and the thing that really drew me to it is the artwork. So I can't wait to show you off the cards in this game. Um, they very much reminded me of like Dungeon Crawl Classics. There was a, there was a definite um, old school fantasy chaos theme look to the cards that I, I think is very cool. So I do have to thank Outset Games for sending a copy of this home with us, a review copy of this. So thanks, Outset. Now, step one is going to be cutting the shrink on this box. So here we have my copy of Psycho Babble that I'm cracking open for the first time right now. So what we have here is, uh, that's part of the box insert. Okay. We have the instructions. So let's take a quick look. There's a very small book with very small text. So I will admit this one is going to be a rough one for my aging eyes. It does explain the aim of the game. Oh, it's a fold out. So you go kind of a fold out rule book. Not overly complicated. Um, you were looking at one, two, three, four, five, six pages. A quick reference on the back. Greatly appreciated. Shows the various cards you're going to get and so on. Then we have cards. So, and we have some nice and bigger cards. So we're going to start with this small pack of cards. I'm just going to leave this stuff in front of me with the rule book tossed in front as I crack the shrink on these cards. So these are cards that are handed out to the patients from the psychoanalyst. They are in groups of A, B, C, and it's based on the number of players, how many of these you would hand out. Uh, you're going to have A, B, C, and D, I think, cards. So there are four sets that you can shuffle for more replayability. Now, these aren't going to make a lot of sense if you don't know the game, but these combo with these two dice. So what you would do quickly here is the game comes with a standard set of 2d6 dice. You would roll these and you would find 6-6 six, six on your card and that would give you your target. So in this case, if you had this card, your target would be right here, which is once you lay out the grid of cards, that's the card you're going to describe. Now these cards represent your dreams and look like funky dreams, which is the next deck of cards you're going to dig into right now. Nice, big, chunky, tarot-sized cards. Wait till you see this artwork. I, I, This is what convinced me to even try the game the first time, was this artwork. All right, here you go. Look at that. Check that out. Look at this card art. These are all twisted dreams that you are having in this game that you are going to have to describe vaguely. Like I said, I, I am reminded of old Earl Artis, Ar Otis artwork, Dungeon Crawl Classic style, OSR, old D&D &D style adventures. Let's see if I can get them any bigger over here. So here, you, I'll give you a close-up of one card here. So the artwork in this is fantastic. Card backs are all the same. And honestly, I think that's it. I'm going to double check. There's nothing underneath here. So this is one of those cases where that is a ridiculous amount of wasted space. So what should be in here? And I didn't see them. Are bigger cards, but I don't see them that don't go into play. Are they on the backs? Here they are. So each of these actually goes in a different suit and forms a different row. So like this, there we go. I knew there was supposed to be. So there's there's a green row of cards. And then there's, you know, a white row of cards. And then a red row of cards. I'm like, I know there were different suits because there are ways you can draw new cards so again it just this is the art inside all the ones of the same color will line up so that they actually kind of make a solid picture which is kind of messed up so here it all is in the lid and i fully understand that to sell board games you need to take up a lot of room and and shell presence matters but that is a lot of wasted space that is your entire game with the rules fitting in 20 less than 25 percent of the box there you have it so there you have what you get in the box for psycho babble 
Uh, this one comes from Outset Games. At least that's who published it here in North America. This is a 4 to 11 player social deduction game all about describing your dreams where all of the characters are having a shared dream except one who's having a different dream. They are the insane and part of the goal is to figure out which player is insane. I absolutely adore the artwork in this game. It looks fantastic. My only complaint about the physical quality here is that I fully understand that you need your game to stick out on store shelves. So this is a fairly significantly sized box, but it's a very big box for what you get inside. I would have expected more of a shorter, smaller card game box for what's in here. But then I do think this particular company makes all their games in the same size box, so that could be an expansion for that. None of that matters, though, as long as the game is good, which we will find out once I get Psycho Babble to the table. Now, as for getting it to the table, when I do play Psycho Babble, I will be talking about it on social media, where you'll be able to find me everywhere as Tabletop Bellhop One Word. Eventually, I'll toss up a review over at TabletopBellhop.com, and we'll be talking about it on the Tabletop Bellhop Gaming Podcast, which you can find on your podcatcher of choice. Thank you for joining me for this unboxing. I hope I didn't hurt your sanity too much as I cracked open Psycho Babble.